Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, it's welcome eight, back. 8.52. Hey, you know, doggy daycare facilities have mm. been pretty popular around the Northwest for the past few years, and now there's a new twist to taking care of the pooch in your life. Swimming lessons for your doggy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> King Five's Jim Robinson's live in Kenmore, where a big new swimming pool is actually catering to the <gasps> aquatic needs of people's pets, Tim. Here. Exactly, Joyce. It's called Bow Wow Fun Town, and they're about the only place that has such a great big pool. This is a saltwater pool, and we've been having the doggies do some swimming, which is great exercising. Here's Mocha, who we love right now, and Mocha's kind of the star of this segment because we're talking about body analysis for doggies. Now, this is Dr. Leslie Kovar. She's a veterinarian with Bothell Pet Hospital. And it's BARK. That's the uh, acronym they use, Body Analysis. Ratings for canines. For canines. You have another... Uh, we, we call it um, BCS, Body Condition Scoring. And veterinarians do BCS on their... Oh, as their a, yeah, on a regular basis as so part of our regular examination. Tell me what it is. So there's a numeric scale. Um, some veterinarians might use a scale of one to five. Some might use one to nine. Uh -huh. But the middle number is your ideal body weight. So you, do you use one to five? I use one to five. So three is ideal. And what is this dog? This would be, I'd need to actually feel her. It so what are you checking for lady. now? So come back here. Phoebe. <laughs> Phoebe. I run my hands along the rib cage. And I want to be able to feel the ribs. Right. Each rib kind of. But like not a washboard, see them. But not see them. And then once the ribs end, I want to feel a little tuck in here. We call it the waist. Oh, it's also you want the waist to see of a waist. the dog. You work your waist. So uh, Phoebe would be a three? Phoebe's a three. Her hip bones are palpable, but not really prominent. Uh huh. Feel them. Uh huh. And then when I look at her from the side, I can see she has a nice tuck under here. So she's in good shape. She is in great shape. Can we bring Mocha over here? Because Mocha would be more like most of your patients. And what are most of your patients? I would say I'm on my scale for dogs, I'd almost say a good majority would rate at four. You see a lot of fours, so a overweight lot of fours, dogs. Yes, yes. And so, Mocha's actually a patient of mine. And, and Mocha looks like a six <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of one to five. Oh, Mocha. No, Mocha. no, we love you, Mocha. I'm a six. Me. I'm a six, honey. So she would be a five. Oh, yeah. I can't even feel her ribs. Well, I feel lots of stuff, but no ribs. You're feeling fat. <laughs> and when I look at her from above, she just goes straight back. There's no, no nice, waist, there's really. No waist. She does have hip bones in there somewhere, but I can't feel them. Mocha, that's a lovely coat you got, that color we love. How about this doggy right here? Pier. Pier. Pier is, I'd almost say, a 3.5. A what? A three... A, three and yeah, a half, a, huh? A three and a half. Almost perfect. So if you have a three and a half, or you have a four, or goodness forbid, a five, what do you, what's the, uh, the recommendation? Just cut down on the groceries? Well, just like in people, you cut down on calories, that's yeah. going to help, but you really need exercise as well. And, and what do you think of pools as exercise? Is I, that I, viable for dogs? If they have the access, it's very viable. Otherwise, take, Otherwise, them, take them to the dog parks where there's, there's, there might be um, yeah. lakes or, right. or whatever, and they get exercise. Swimming is a great exercise, especially if the dog has any kind of joint problems, which a lot of overweight dogs have. Interesting. It's very it's non-impact. Thank you, Dr. Cobra. I really appreciate it. So, Brad and Joyce, that's the deal. You want to make sure your doggy, on a scale of one to five, is a three, as opposed to Mocha and me, who are both sixes. You want them to be a nice <laughs> little three, kind of like Phoebe right here. Look at Phoebe. Good Phoebe. Three Phoebe. Those are some good-looking pups. Yeah, they are cute. Thanks, All right. Tim. All right. Let's get a final.